Hmm. Can't pay that. Uh, see how much money I have. Okay, that's not gonna do. <sighs> okay, I need Dave Ramsey and bad. What is that? Okay, that doesn't look right at all. That looks like it could be really bad. Maybe I can mask it. No. Okay. Hello and welcome to Therapy Express with Rosanna. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to talk about worry. Are you a worry wart? Most people spend time worrying about things that never ever happen, yet the worries consume them. And believe me, there's a smorgasbord out there of things that we can worry about. There's money, there's health, relationships, work. Whatever you can think about to worry is available to you at any time. So we have to make sure that we don't give the energy to that worrying because it doesn't do any good. It doesn't add any time to your life and it doesn't solve any of your problems. Let's take for instance money. Money is a big thing but worrying about it isn't going to give you more money. You have to come up with some sort of a plan. Do you need to work more? Do you need to borrow money to pay your bills? Do you need to change jobs? Ask yourself questions but don't worry about it, especially at two o'clock in the morning. What can you do at two o'clock in the morning? Nothing. There's nothing. So don't lose sleep over something over which you have no control. If you want to make a little note for yourself, write it down and say in the morning, I'll tackle that issue. Another thing that people worry about is the past. The past being the key word. There's nothing you can do over the past, but you may be worried about something you said, something you did, and now you're wishing you could take it back or that you could have done something differently. You can't. It's over. So find a way to release it and move forward and stop giving energy that you can be using now to prepare for your future. That's what you need to be doing, not worrying about something that happened before. What about your appearance? People are worried about their appearance. That's how marketers and the, the, the commercials make their money because they want you to feel insecure about how you look. They want you to be afraid of getting old. But guess what? We're all going to age. Let's do it gracefully. There is no cream in the world that will take away the time. There's nothing. So let's age gracefully and move forward. But worrying about it is not going to do the trick. You're not going to gain 10 years. As a matter of fact, worrying will add years to your life. It will make you look older and haggard and uh, you're not going to like that. So forget the creams and just put the worries aside. There's a lot of worrying over nothing and there is a uh, black and white thinking. Okay, if I don't get an A on this test, just call me a failure. It's, I'm a failure. All right, so it's either an A or you're a failure. That's black and white thinking. You can use this for anything. And uh, what about a B? What about a B plus, a C? There's things in between that you can use to make your life better. So don't worry that if you don't get to the top, then you're going to be all the way at the bottom. And then there's the catastrophizing that people do. And I know people who do this all the time. Oh my gosh, if I lose my job, I'm going to lose my house. My family is going to leave me. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to end up living in a cardboard box. All right? You see how that went? Because it only takes one thought to spiral out of control. One thought to the next, to the next, to the next. So what can you do? Number one, stop worrying, but ask yourselves the following question. What is the worst thing that can happen? Haven't I handled things in the past? How did I get here? I've had bad things happen to me before. 
and yet I still made it. So if you can remind yourself that no matter what happens, you're going to be able to handle it, then that's going to relieve you because it is the idea that something so horrendous is going to happen that we are not going to be able to tackle it. You can tackle it because you've tackled everything. Even the worst thing that you can imagine, you can handle it. And having a worry or a fear over it, uh, it means it hasn't happened yet, right? So if you're worried about something or you're fearing something, it hasn't happened. And when and if it happens, then you don't have to worry about it or fear it anymore because now it's right there. And now you can take action because you know exactly what you're fighting against. If you are worried, here's a little tip for you to have. Don't make any decisions if you're hungry, if you are angry, lonely, or tired. Because when you're feeling any of those things, everything looks like a beast you cannot slay. It looks worse. So if you're hungry, get a little snack, come back to whatever it is you're going to do. If you're angry, calm down, take a walk, and then take a look at it. If you're lonely, you know what? Call somebody, reach out, a family member, a friend. And if you're tired, get some rest. After you've done all that, then come back and look at the thing you're worried about. I bet you it's not going to be that bad. We all have things we worry about that's just a part of life. It's the way we tackle it that is going to make or break us. All right, so I hope this was helpful to you. Look for me next week, but before that, hit the subscribe, turn on your notifications, and make sure you make every moment count. Bye.